In this video, we're going to look at how to publish content on the Unity Asset Store. In order to be approved and reach the Unity community, submitted packages follow a review process led by the Unity curation team. To avoid rejection and save time, it's essential to prepare your work following the guidelines. You can find all the needed information inside the submission guidelines and the Asset Store Provider Agreement. Be sure to read them. The first thing to do is log in to the Asset Store Publisher panel using your Unity account. To unlock all the panel features and be able to create and upload packages, we need to fill in the Publisher Profile. Let's click on Create Profile. Inside the new panel, we are requested to fill in the publisher name, publisher website, and to agree to the terms and conditions. Once done, we land on the profile page, which contains basic information that helps the user to discover and connect with you. This page helps attract potential customers and present yourself, your brand, and your work by adding promotional images, videos, and messages. Be careful. Violating trademarks, brands, or adding inappropriate content will lead to your submission being rejected. Back in the publisher portal, it's now time to create a package. First of all, we need a package name and a category. Choose a simple and searchable name. Duplicated names in the asset store are not allowed, so it must be unique. The category is a filter that helps your work to be found easily. Within the asset store, customers can filter the list of packages by the category that they choose. For real usage examples, Look in the Asset Store to see which category is commonly used for assets similar to yours. Let's proceed by confirming. You'll be able to change the name and the category at any time. In this new section, we're able to edit all the metadata related to our package. Note that your package at the moment is a draft. This state only means that the package has not been submitted to the Asset Store yet. Package status is visible by clicking on View All Packages. Most common status for packages are draft, published, rejected, and pending. A package is published when it has passed the review of the Unity curation team and it has been released on the Asset Store. It's in a pending state when it has been submitted and is waiting for revision. It is rejected if it gets rejected because it doesn't respect one or more guidelines. If your package gets rejected, you'll always be informed about what the problem is so that you can submit it again once you fix the issues. Back to the package metadata. Under the package name field, a few tabs need to be filled out. You can see an orange icon next to each metadata tab. This means that the related tab has some required fields that need to be filled before submitting. Inside this package upload tab, for example, we still have to upload our package. We'll cover the necessary steps very soon. Let's first concentrate on the other metadata tabs. Inside the Release Note tab, we're able to set the release version of the package and the related changelog. For easy and clear versioning of your package, we suggest using the Major Point Minor Point Patch Versioning Standard. In the Changelog field, you must inform customers of all the relevant changes, bug fixes, or new features that this version brings. Please note that the text you submit here will replace the old changelog text, so make sure to preserve any existing changes in your new entry. The Description tab contains key information for the success of your package. The Summary and the Technical Details are required fields. The Description is optional, but we suggest to fill it to stand out from the crowd. It's worth noting that, although optional, having a clear and informative description will help customers to make informed purchases. The Summary is a short text where you have to explain what the package is about, who it's for, and what it contains. The Technical Details field contains technical information about the contents of the package. For example, if a customer is looking for a 3D package, it's essential for them to know in advance information like the poly count of the package's models, if models are unwrapped, etc. A dropdown with ready-to-use templates will help you to cover all the key information necessary for approval. Be sure to read the submission guidelines, in particular, if your package contains third-party assets, dependencies, or other requirements. The description field is optional, and you can use it to add extra information, hints, and advice about your package. Inside the Details tab, you can decide your package's price and add keywords to it. If you have doubts about the price, we suggest that you check the prices of packages similar to yours on the Asset Store. Keywords will help people find your package when they search in the Asset Store. 
The system recommends some keywords based on the picked category. Feel free to select them or add new descriptive words that fit your package. In the public link section, there are the asset store links associated with the package. We provide a shorter version of the original link for better sharing. These links will be accessible after the package is published and will not change. Media upload allows us to upload and link media necessary to show and represent the package. It's very important to choose appealing media as this is one of the main factors that induce a potential customer to click on your package. You need to add different types of images and or videos, each with its purpose and aspect ratio. Please read the provided standards carefully so that your images can look their best in the store. The last panel is called localization. Here you can add different languages to bring your packages to the widest audience possible. Now that we've seen the package's metadata, it's time to upload the package files. To do this, we need to open Unity. For this example, we want to upload a collection of 3D assets. The first thing to do is to organize the folder structure of your package. All the package assets should be in a folder with either your publisher's name or the package name as the title. Let's create a folder called Unity Technologies, our publisher name, and another folder inside it called 3D Game Kit Character Pack Examples, and drag inside all the relevant folders we want to upload. To validate and upload the package, we open the Asset Store and install a package called Asset Store Tools. Once the import process is complete, let's open the Package Validator under Asset Store Tools, Package Validator. This is an extremely useful tool that helps detect any possible incompatibilities and guidelines that the package may break. Let's click on Set Path and choose the root folder we've just created. Now click Scan. As you can see, our package is breaking a fundamental rule of the submission guidelines. It doesn't include a scene to showcase the products. So we create a new scene with good lighting and add all the available models prefabs. Now, if we check again with the validator tool, we see with pleasure that no errors are displayed. To upload the project, we need to go to Asset Store Tools, Package Upload. Inside the prompt, we log in with the Unity account that we've used to access the publisher portal and create the draft package. If the login is successful, the tool starts fetching the account information and shows the packages available in your account. We select our 3D Game Kit Character Pack Draft Package from the list, select the project's root folder, and since the package doesn't contain package manager dependencies, we can click Upload. Unity starts to create a package with the specified content, and then it displays a bar showing the uploading process percentage. Being validated by the package validator doesn't guarantee that your project will be released on the Asset Store. Your package will be released once the Unity curation team has successfully reviewed it. Now we're done with the Unity editor process. If we now access the publisher portal, we see that the draft package has a size. This is already a good sign, meaning that our package has been uploaded and processed correctly by the portal. Let's open the package's settings and go into the Upload Your Package section. The package is described by the Unity version we use to upload it, upload date, size, and the number of files that it contains. Inside the red box, the information that we need to fill in is highlighted. In particular, we need to specify which render pipelines are supported and if the package has asset store dependencies. Before submitting, let's check the asset store page preview of our package. Everything seems okay. So we're now ready to save and click Submit. In this newly opened pop-up, we're able to add additional notes for the curation team. Also, there's an option to auto-publish the package as soon as it's approved. Let's click Confirm. You've now sent your first package for approval. Good job. A confirmation email will be sent to your inbox. The package is now in a pending state and the Unity curation team will review your package. The process will take a few business days to complete. Sharing your work on the Unity Asset Store is an easy and direct way to reach the Unity community. By following the steps presented in this video and by reading the official guidelines, you'll be able to present your project in the best possible way and help to ensure a smooth release process. We can't wait to see your creations. Thanks for watching.